Feathers by Raymond Carver from the Volume Cathedral. A very interesting little story which has quite a few elements um, that I identify with. First of all, there's a peacock uh, within the story and hence the feathers. And you don't see them yet, they may enter the picture, but I have two versions of this, uh, this uh, peacock, there's one, his voice, uh, in the form of macaws. One is red and green and the other is uh, gold and blue, and you hear it. Uh, so, in a way, I sympathize with Bud and his wife Ola, even if the presence of this uh, strange bird may be about the only thing that we share. Bud and the narrator work at the same place, and um, with a child coming, Bud has a child who was eight years old at the time when the main story takes place, even if at the beginning we understand that it's been a long time since uh, this happened and uh, now uh, there, there have been many years that passed. Um, but brings some cigars with it's a boy, so there we have it, it's a boy. At work, our narrator takes a couple and then um, they establish a, uh, a visit. The narrator's uh, wife is Fran, they go on some windy winding roads uh, and they find uh, the home and there's a big loud noise. I said they, they have a, 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 an infant, but it's not, it's too loud. And indeed, something like a voucher comes down and there's the speaker. Uh, I would love to have one. It's just that they make this noise for one thing, that's very. And then um, there's the, the worry that uh, they might. Um, he might fly away if he has uh, access to it. Plus, I have the experience with these two guys, one of whom um, has been out there for uh, a few times, uh, three, maybe four, lands, lands up in a, in a tree, and it's a very uh, difficult job to get him up. Let's return to the story. Um, it's not just this peacock. Uh, there's the baby who's ugly. It reminds one, reminds me of um, the Seinfeld episode with the baby. Oh, you have to see the baby. You have to see the baby. Such a lovely baby. And Seinfeld and his party are horrified because they find the baby one of the ugliest things they've ever seen. Uh, in that thing, I'm. Seinfeld was not at his uh, funniest. He comes across to me as uh, quite arrogant very often. And his style is both very interesting, humorous and funny, often. But then also he has this um, uh, repealing, um, un very unlikable uh, side. I, that's how I see it. Anyway, uh, so that the baby and the pika who comes into the house <laughs> and uh, Brad, uh, no, it's not Bud. I'm sorry, not Brad. Brad is from the series uh, Two and a Half Men, and I'm just a bet. Uh, in fact, the two episodes with Brad and the, the girlfriend uh, and. Um, uh, 
there's a love and hate relationship between Bud and this bird. Mm, he both likes it, he paid a hundred dollars for it. It's Olaf, his wife, that wanted so much a peacock. And she has it now. Uh, so it's both love and hate relationship. And I'll, again, I can understand that because I like those guys very much when they're nice, but when they shout like a peacock, it can be terrifying. <laughs> so, um, um, they bring, as I said, this uh, bird in the house, but the owner complains that uh, uh, he spoiled a rock, and then um, they talk also about the denture, the problems Ola had with uh, her teeth, and at one moment the uh, bud explodes and what's all this? Visitors, they don't want to hear about your denture, your teeth, and this goddamn bird, and it builds up to a sort of tension. What happens next you have to read and find out.